Hi everybody and welcome back to Amazing Tech for All. In our previous video, we saw how we could add an upload plugin to Jellyfin. This allowed us to upload videos directly from the web interface without mapping a drive that is shared by Jellyfin. Right. So we'll log into the admin and we'll take a look. This is one of the movies that we uploaded. But today I'd like to also take a look at how to add additional features and one of those is a skin manager so let's click on uh, on the button the the three lines over here and go back to dashboard and we'll go to catalog and as we saw before we could find the jellyfin plugins under the standard uh, jellyfin repository and we can find it under on github so let's take let's just go back to github quickly and see if we can find the skin manager just do this don't like that escape that Control f does this in my browser rather jellyfin plugin skin manager okay so we'll find the JSON uh, for file for this. Let's copy the link. And we'll go back to Jellyfin. And here we will go to the catalog and we will do a click on the repository, the plus next to the repository, and we'll say skin manager. There we go. And we'll copy the link in there. And click on save we'll click on ok and now when we go back here it will attempt to do a refresh and then you'll hopefully see ah there we go the skin manager is there so click on the skin manager and we'll click on the install button install yes right there we go it's installed Generally, the best thing to do after the installation of a plugin is to click on the restart button. Let's go. Okay, it looks like it's restarted. I'll go to my plugins now. And we'll find the skin manager over there. Okay. Just do a quick refresh. I think that the restart may take a little bit longer than expected. There we go. So now that everything is there, if we click on Skin Manager and you se select Settings, you will have the default skin as you can see over here. And this is what it looks like. Oh, that's a preview, yes. So we'll go to Jelly Skin and see what it looks like. And some of these images doesn't populate it doesn't give you a particularly good way to check but you can change things um let's see go back here and just say set skin okay so it looks different now and if we refresh this page let's see what we will see you can see that we now have a different feel to this whole thing the theme is very different Right. If we click on a movie, now there's the way that it appears in the background is different. The the cast. Oh, I don't particularly like this theme. I don't. Yeah, this is not very nice. Anyway, so let's go back one. Let's go see if we can select a different skin. See Jelly Flix. I think this simulates Netflix. Yeah. So let's click on that, set skin. Sorry about that. So let's refresh the Jellyfin here on this side. Yeah, so this gives a more Netflix-like vibe to Jellyfin. Um, not sure why not all the data or the image did not populate over here. I'm expecting content in the background that's not loading either. Okay. Yeah, I'm not particularly impressed by this theme. Let's go back to one of the others. Here is 
Alta Chromic. Let's see. Interesting name to say the least. Set skin. Looks different. Let's see. I go back to the home page and do a refresh. Ultra Chromic. Looks very similar to the default screen. Let's see what the, the movie theme looks like. This also looks a lot closer to what the default is. Um, that's rather standard. There's nothing special about it. Let's go back to changing what these are a set of that set of themes that come with the the skin manager so monochromic okay let's do that improve performance uh so bottom bar okay we don't have episodes for the particular thing but let's see what it looks like also doesn't seem to have changed much from the previous theme but uh let's see the login screen is meant to look different. Let's see. Okay. Let's refresh this page. Or rather, let's go back to the home page. Refresh it. Still gives me a very much similar feel. You can see uh, something in the background is different, but uh, not particularly impressed by it. Okay. So. One more theme. Well, there's a few more to go. Well, that was monochromic. Kaleidochromic. Let's see. Set theme. Theme looks different. Let's see. Not bad. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Let's refresh this page. Good. Uh, I like this one, actually see yes that's uh, one of my more preferred ones i'd go with Let's see nova chromic i don't know where the chromic is coming from but everything seems to be ending in a chromic oh wow that is dramatic dramatically different but the text on the left bar is harder to read because it's dark on dark dark text on a dark background Let's go back to the home page, refresh it. Um, not convinced that this would be a good. No, this is horrible. The text here is dark on dark, so you can't make out what's written over there. Not not a theme that I would go with. Then let's change that to dark and green. Let's see, set skin. Not very good at all. I refresh this. Okay. Yeah, I'm expecting more from this theme. I'm not getting it. Okay. So one more jelly theme. They're not particularly creative when it comes to the naming. Let's see. Uh, refresh this page. Let's go back to the home page. Refresh it. Let's see. Oh wow! But yeah, um, that's not bad. Let's see, but I'm expecting an image over here of some sort, and I'm not getting it. So no, this doesn't go for me. Now at the moment, the, the I think jelly skin is one of my favorites. Let's just see what jelly skin looks like. Let's see. But I don't like well, the way the cast is being shown. Can't make out what they look like. It's not a pleasant feeling. So let's go back to the other one. Um, maybe ultra chromic. Let's take one more look over here. Uh, bear in mind that a lot of these themes have features or that can be enabled or disabled. Yeah, I think that the ultra chromic and the default one for now is what works for me. There are more advanced themes that allow a sort of a semi playback to happen in the background. Uh, I have not played with that at all yet. So 
but yeah um, that's just a quick uh, video on how to do how to upload the skin manager and how to change themes or skins for jellyfin if you found it useful please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video thanks